Hey guys, what's up? I'm Vasil from Racebox and today, except the fact that as you can see it's a little bit windy out here, we have prepared something a little bit different than before but equally as exciting. As you can see here behind me, we have the Audi R8 V10 Performance, one of the last naturally aspirated supercars still standing. No turbos, no hybrid tricks whatsoever, just pure naturally aspirated V10 madness and, as you can see, some serious presence. And we are here to test it and see what numbers it puts down using Racebox, of course. First of all, let's break down some quick specs of the car. The Air 8 in this latest generation is powered by 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10 engine, which produces 620 horsepower and 580 Newton meters of torque. All this is mated to a seven speed dual coach transmission and of course the Audi notorious Quattro all-wheel drive system. Before we get into the numbers, let's first talk about sound. This exact car is equipped with a mid-pipe that has its OPF filters removed. So this may be not a huge deal for performance, but for sound it's definitely game-changer. <laughs> Alright, as you heard, the car sounds just amazing, but now let's see if the R8 can back this sound with some real numbers. We are of course using the Racebox, the mini model in this case, to measure the performance the right way. Accurate GPS based timing with no fluff and no guesswork. We will be measuring, as always, 60 foot, 0 to 100 times, 100 to 200 km per hour times and quarter mile times. We will be doing one proper launch with a full pull. This car right now is absolutely stock, so we want to see what Audi really can deliver from the factory. So that was not the greatest lunge, there was a little bit of slip there, so let's try it once more. The numbers right now are 4.3 seconds 0 to 100, so yeah, you can see the start was not very good. Quarter mile 11.9, 100 to 200, 7.6. I'm sure we can get some better numbers than this, so let's go. As I told you, we had some little wheel spin and actually because of the wheel spin, the gearbox short shifted from first to second and that's the thing that actually really tempered with the quarter mile and the zero to a hundred times. So right now I'm going to switch the traction control absolutely off and see if we can make a better start this way. Okay, so finally we have some proper run. The car launched perfect this time. There was a little bit of wheel spin once again, but actually this time around the car didn't short shift it from first to second gear, so we have some proper times. Let's check them out. So yeah, the 0 to 100 time 3.3 seconds, 100 to 200 7.5 and the quarter mile time 11.1. I think it's pretty solid. As I said, the car had a little bit of wheel spin on the start, so maybe we can extract just a tiny bit more out of it. But as we already said, the main purpose of this series is to show the performance in out in the real world on the street and not just in some perfect conditions. So yeah, I'm happy with the results. If you guys want to measure your car just like we are doing here in this video, make sure to check the description and click the link down below. 
we have prepared a special promo code just for you so you can grab your race box at a discounted price right now and start measuring like a pro. Also, if you want to see more cars tested the right way, make sure to subscribe, like and of course drop a comment below and let us know what cars do you expect to see. Stay tuned for our next episodes and I'll catch you guys in the next one.